What's up, KJ fam? It's Cash. And it's Jay. Back, back with, with another video. video. What is up, y'all? You know what I'm saying? I'm back. I know y'all ain't seen me in a little while, but I'm back. Yes, y'all. You know what I'm saying? He I'm back, in, back the in the mix. In the building. And today, finna be lit. Hey, you know period. Okay. Like so, y'all already know about the this video. Today's vlog day, but this is a special vlog. Today, I will be speaking at this fashion show. Since this month is Bullying Prevention Month, it's really about um, bullying or whatever, but it's a fashion show. So, I was asked um, to speak at this fashion show, which I am honored. And yeah, y'all, yeah, I'm kind of nervous. We in, we are on our way right now. Like, as we place. speak right now, for the pull up. So go ahead, the Lord said you scared. Go ahead, get out the way. Lord said, "Cool for the pull up." But if you talking with his hands, for the pull up. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So we pull it up right now. I am so nervous. Like, uh oh, oh my gosh. Baby was swinging this car. Uh oh, see, it's not that packed. You know what I'm saying? Baby, it haven't even started yet. What's how it going to start? At five. At five? Oh, so we got VIP. <laughs> we got VIP. Yes, y'all, check out our feet. Let me show y'all what I got. You know what I'm saying? Check out my footwork. I don't think they can't see my footwork right now. No, they can't see our footwork. But look, you know what I'm saying? No, oh, they should have seen us yesterday because we was dripping yesterday. We didn't take a picture. Yeah, yeah, we went to the fair. We wanted to vlog, but we didn't get a chance to vlog, so. We didn't get a, look at him. We didn't get a chance to vlog yesterday when we went to the fair, y'all, but we can post some pictures that can pop up right here, like right, right here, now. You know what I'm right here, right now. Yeah, so, um, so yeah, y'all, so. Babe, what you doing? So yeah, so we just getting ready. I'm finna put my lip gloss on. And y'all, I forgot my freaking makeup bag. So I can't even beat my face. So, it's okay. I'm still pretty, period. Lip gloss and eyelashes. It's what it is, it's what it is, what it is. So, Javi been backing up this car. I think this is good enough. We good, baby. I got basically we good. Okay, here, hold the camera while I put on my lip gloss. Yeah, put your lip gloss on. Y What's up, y'all? Know what I'm saying? Now I got the shades on. I got to be in the mud dripping. Know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah, y'all, we gonna like this this cash first event. Speaking that. No, this is my first one. I mean, like but first, like kind of big. Know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, cause yeah. I spoke at a couple uh, of schools a couple of times, but this is my first like big. But yeah. a school pretty big too, though. So yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just something different. You know what I'm saying? Something different, y'all. Something different. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all hair stuff up to the occasion. Period. And today, today, today. Mm. Today, today, today. Uh, that's what Damien say. <laughs> oh, y'all. Hey, y'all seen. Did y'all watch the Carmen and Corey and the Prince family? If y'all did, comment before? down below because that was like a big old mystical screw. Mm -hmm. Like, man. Yeah, I don't know. These people are crazy. What's going on there? But yeah, y'all, like I was saying, we're gonna have like a little. My homeboy gonna be recording for us today. Like some of the, some of the stuff. So we can like just show y'all how we're feeling it down today, you know what I'm saying? Look at all this lip gloss. <laughs> Look, y'all. Uh, too much lip gloss. Too much. Too much sauce. You know what I'm saying? Dripping too much. Yeah, y'all. So we'll holler back at y'all once we start this event. You did? We'll do that right now. Well, y'all, KJ Film Squad, we, uh, oh, I'm so sorry. sorry. We here at the fashion show. Y'all don't be thinking I'm rude because I, I is a gentleman. But the lady said she got this one. Right. So I'm going to let her get this one. <laughs> I'm going to ask again though because she'll tell you I asked seven times. Are you sure? <laughs> Give it up!
My name is Cash Meyer. I am a singer in college. I am a Christian. I am a YouTuber. I am a motivational speaker. And I'm an inspiration to a lot of people because I was born without my arms. And so I do everything with my feet. I do makeup. I cook. I clean. I type in school because I am in college. I write my notes. I do everything. Uh, I even drive with my feet. So after this talk, I will give y'all my YouTube channel, it's me and my boyfriend, but I uh, do different things on my YouTube channel to show y'all how I operate on my everyday life. So, um, I wanted to, I'm glad, I was honored to be able to speak today because, uh, you know, this month is Bullying Prevention Month. And it's a difference between people being mean to you and people bullying you. And so, I didn't experience bullying because I just didn't take that from people. You know what I'm saying? I was comfortable in my own skin. It took me a while to get comfortable in my own skin because I did deal with insecurity problems and self-esteem. So it took me a while to build my confidence, but I really thank God because <laughs> it took me a long time, you know? So um, people just used to, you know, oh, that's the girl with no arms, or how do you gonna do stuff because you don't have any arms? And, you know, even when he asked me, you got it? You want me to hold the mic? And I'm like, no, I got it. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so this is, y'all, I'm kind of nervous, but, whoo, anyway, so it took me a while to build the company that I'm in now, because I used to, even in middle school and um, high school, I was a cheerleader, a varsity cheerleader, and so I used to wear sleeves to try to hold, uh, hide my shoulders, you know what I'm saying? But now I'm so confident in my own skin, I'm just, I'm confident. that you can do anything you want to do. And don't let, don't let no one feel like they can run over you. You know what I'm saying? Because people that are mean or that bully people are hurt themselves. And so even if someone is bullying you or being mean to you, don't be mean to other people. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever shorten yourself with other people. So um, I'm here to let y'all know that y'all can do anything y'all really want to do. I really believe that. And even with makeup, I do makeup. I do other people makeup. And I did not know how to do makeup at first, but practice really makes perfect. So um, my big thing is I really want to open the floor to people that want to ask me questions. Y'all can ask me any questions. Don't get too personal now. <laughs> Y'all can ask me questions about anything, and I want to answer the questions. Because I am I'm majoring in psychology. So that I want to counsel people, I want to help people, you know what I'm saying? I do want to be an inspiration to people because, you know, there's no limit. So if y'all want to ask questions, y'all can. <laughs> y'all can just raise your hand. Don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Um, I'm Tiffany. I have a question, but I just want to say, uh, it's good, I'm glad you came today. I actually saw you on Facebook, I guess about two months ago, mm -hmm. I was like, wow, like, she's in it. She's in the kitchen cooking eggs, like, she's in it. I was just like, wow, that, that has to be hard, and like you said, like, you just sugar coated. In the beginning it was, but like, you overcame it, and you only did that with the body of God. Like, I'm happy for you, like seriously, I look up like, man, like how? Like everyday life, there are things that you have to do, you know, as a woman, mm -hmm. um, just pulling up everything, like you said, it was people that didn't accept you. But all, you know, all of their things, <laughs> they still have trouble with confidence. So how do you, what, what do you have to say to them and, and how do they overcome that? I believe every, God made everybody in their own way. So if he, God never makes no mistakes. <laughs> so if he made you the way you are, you, you, you make yourself comfortable. You know what I'm saying? And the more you make yourself comfortable, the more people around you will be comfortable. So it doesn't matter because it is true. A lot of people have arms and legs, you know what I'm saying? And, and they worry about their skin or they're too tall or they're too short. And you know, different stuff like that. But you are who you are. And you love yourself. And that's that's one thing. Like I just ask God to help me make myself just more comfortable in myself. Because I deal with stuff. I had to deal with drop, going through the drive through by myself. You know what I'm saying? And how people going to react to me giving the money with my feet. 
You know what I'm saying? People have arms and legs, you know what I'm saying? And they complain every day. So just be grateful for what you have. I think everybody should. I believe everybody should. Hi, I'm Beth Hawkins. I am a licensed professional counselor. I volunteer at Oakwood Bible Fellowship. Uh, part of my uh, clientele will be for women empowerment and couples. And you were mentioning about uh, you're taking psychology and wanting to proceed in that area as you graduate. Have you thought about a niche clientele? Um, I know I want to be marriage counseling, single, um, couples. So I don't want to do like um, I don't want to touch on like people that get a PTSD. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I'm so emotional when it comes to people. You know, so I can only hurt, only help certain. You know, because it's just I I'm really just emotional and I care for people. So I do want to do marriage counseling, uh, singles, um, couples therapy, and stuff like that. So yes, you want to come? How do I drive? Good question. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> What age did you start to feel like comfortable? Mm -hmm. I started building myself in, I would say, my senior year in high school. I decided that year, since I was still a varsity cheerleader, I decided I wasn't going to wear sleeves anymore on the football field, you know, or the basketball uh, game. I, I wore my shoulders out. And I noticed that more people, like it was, cause people stare at me all the time. But less people just stared at me more because they seen, oh, she just don't have any arms. You know what I'm saying? Instead of like hiding, they like looking like, does she have arms or not? Is she cold? You know? So my senior year in high school is when I started to change and I got more independent in college. So, yeah. Just a follow up to the age question. What age was it that you began to start to, I guess, develop the strength in your legs and your feet to help you do, become more independent and to do things that we, we don't do with our hands and our arms with your feet? So did you have to take special classes or certain physical therapy? Or was it something that was just more inherent, like in your mind, being like, oh, hey, well, I don't have this, so we're going to lean on what I do have to do something better. And tell me something. That's a good question. That's why I said this is all God because y'all, my mom would show me pictures when I was little and I used to hold the bottom of my feet because I was, I'm the oldest. I have three siblings and all of them have arms. My mom and my dad has arms. So this was new to them. New to them. And so um, they just say everything came natural. Like they didn't, they, I didn't go to any special class. They couldn't teach me nothing because they have arms, you know what I'm saying? So um, it was just natural. I even, um, on the Barcroft TV video that I did that's going around on Facebook, it was a picture of me holding a fork eating watermelon with my feet. So it came, I just say it came natural. And then when I got in college and my parents wasn't there, my siblings wasn't there, it forced me to be more and more independent. Because my mom and my dad, they taught me to be independent. Like they still made me wash dishes when I was younger. I still had to fold clothes, you know what I'm saying? So I really appreciate my parents as well because they made me to be independent. They didn't, you know, be like, oh, she can't be capital, so we have to help her do this and help her do that. So they pushed me to be independent, which I appreciate that because that made me who the person I am now. So I became stronger really in college. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Most people that bully people, they, they I want to be honest, y'all. I want to be honest, and I don't want y'all to take this rude. They mess with people, they think they're weak. So, when you let them know, or you don't even have to let them know, you just let them know. Like, I'm confident in my own skin, you know what I'm saying? I'm confident, like, you're not going to push me around. You're not going to 
make me do what you say, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you stay strong, but people are ignorant. It means a lack of knowledge. So, uh, they're going to say what they want to say because they hurt themselves. But don't let anybody push you around. Don't let everybody, anybody feel like they can make you do anything that you don't want to do. So, it's, it's about you being strong. And you ignore ignorance when people say, oh, you ugly or something like that. You ignore them because eventually they'll fade away. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe. I will have a lot of videos coming soon. 